Okay guys, going to do a quick little help file for you. Um, I use these vibrating toothbrushes quite a lot because they've got a handy electric motor in them um, and they've got an offset weight on them that makes them, when it spins, it makes them vibrate. Um, I get them from my local pound shop or 99p shop, so they're dead cheap um, and they're very convenient. I did a video the other night using one of these to make a little electric car basically cut the end off it so that I could get to the motor attached a rubber band to it, attached that to the back wheels and we had a little electric car going along um, but to do that I had to take the weight off and I thought it would be a good idea to do a little help file to show you how to take the weight off these electric motors so first of all I'll just uh, show you the motor itself, that's obviously the toothbrush, bottom comes off, battery goes in which comes free with the toothbrush, it's quite handy and it's got a switch on the bottom, switch it on and off. So it's a handy little package, on off switch, battery, motor, all in a package that you can use for all sorts of things. I use them for vibrating bugs, bristle bugs, um, a spinning drawing artist thing and an electric car but certainly for the electric car as I say I had to take that motor had to take the weight off the motor to get to the motor it's quite easy the little unit all comes out in one piece and they even unclip easily and there's no soldering involved so there's our motor and that's the weight that we want to get off because it's an offset weight. Uh, it's, I think it's um, pressed onto the shaft there so it doesn't come off easily. You might be lucky, you might be able to pull it off with a pair of pliers but at the same time you might damage the motor doing that. So I thought I'd show you how I do it. I've been down in the garage, found myself a nice lump of wood that I've drilled a hole in and that hole is plenty big enough for the motor to fit in. I also found an old metal shelf bracket which already had holes drilled in it and I've put a slot in to one of them and that slots the right size for the shaft to fit through. So the idea is you put that on there, drop it in there and then we need to tap the shaft with the hammer like that, helps if you hit it straight off and there we have the electric motor without the weight on it um, that nail that I used is actually a panel pin there 40 millimeter, one and a half inch panel pin. But just happens to be stuff that I've got in my um, bits and bobs, and it happens to be exactly the right size. It's slightly smaller than the shaft was, so it goes through nicely, knocks the weight off, and there we are. Done. Hope that helps somebody.